Hi, everybody. I've just uh, given a talk on behalf of Pancreatic Cancer Europe to Remedy for All. And I told them that we desperately need uh, to implement a couple of programs to prevent uh, pancreatic cancer. Uh, the first one is primary prevention. It's to have a healthy uh, uh, habits of uh, life and uh, to uh, implement secondary prevention to implement uh, this, we need to identify uh, which are the high-risk groups and to develop a cost-effective tool for uh, screening. Uh, this uh, results in uh, an investment in pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is the third leading cause of cancer uh, deaths in Europe. It's uh, upfront uh, breast cancer. And breast cancer is five times more frequent than pancreatic cancer, but it causes less deaths than pancreatic cancer. And pancreatic cancer will become the second leading cause of cancer after uh, lung cancer in uh, eight years. So uh, this is... Uh, emergency, a health emergency to face uh, this problem and uh, start uh, working together. Networking is crucial in pancreatic cancer because it's not so often and we need to uh, um, have uh, patients in referral centers where they know how to operate them uh, properly they know how to diagnose them properly. They can offer them clinical trials and they can also uh, count on the help of nutritionists, uh, on rehabilitation specialists, on psychological support, etc., etc. This is not the case for all centers. And if you do not have these uh, supports in your center, please refer your patient to any of these centers. The uh, treatment uh, that I uh, just mentioned was the uh, regular treatment with sulfurinox or uh, with napaclitaxel followed with gemcitabine for the metastatic setting and uh, sulfurinox in the adjuvant setting. And I also mentioned a recent uh, regimen uh, called sequence that consists of napaclitaxel gemcitabine followed by Folfox on the day 29th of the cycle, and then again uh, napaclitaxel gemcitabine and then Folfox without waiting for a uh, progression. So this allows to tackle the two types of pancreatic cancer, the classical one that responds better to Orphirinox and the basal uh, like uh, one that responds better to napaclitaxel and gemcitabine. On the other side, given upfront gemcitabine, enhances immunity T cells and also decreases the stroma, allowing the drugs given behind napaclitaxel to reach easier the tumor. So efficacy has been proven to be better and napaclitaxel gemcitabine alone, and this is going to be published in a prestigious journal in the next month. What I got from this uh, symposium, Remedy for All, is that uh, we can repurpose the drugs already available for other pathologies and use them for pancreatic cancer because some mechanism of actions of these drugs could serve for the um, uh, targets that we are uh, trying to, to uh, neutralize, enhancing the effects of other drugs that are already approved for pancreatic cancer and uh, helping us during that period that we get these funds already requested. 
the repurposing of cancer uh, in pancreatic cancer could be helpful and an alternative to the lack of financing that we usually have. And that's uh, all. It's been a pleasure being here with such a lot of prestigious researchers and uh, people uh, engaged in uh, uh, patients associations. Uh, I've learned a lot and I'm happy to be here. Thanks a lot.